Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now going to be going over this paper, which is the International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P3 paper, which was supposed to have taken place in June 2020. However, it was cancelled due to the COVID 19 pandemic. And uh, the paper was actually used as the October paper for the same year, 2020. So it's labeled as June 2020, but it was actually used as the October 2020 paper. Um, I guess there won't be a June, an actual June paper. Um, so there will probably not be any paper that will be labeled October 2020 in the front. The next paper coming out is going to be for the January 2021 session. So this is like, I've called it the June stroke October 2020 paper. Now here we have question number one. Um, a question about trig equations and identities. It's telling us to solve in degrees between 0 and 360 degrees the equation 2 cosine 2x um, equals 7 cosine x. Now this equation here involves a double angle. Okay, And normally what you're going to do when you solve an equation like this is to make all the angles you know, the same. Um, according, you know, like the single angle. So instead of having this as cosine 2x, I want to express this in terms of, you know, the single angle, and angle x, not 2x. Um, and I have to look at what the other expression that we've got here, which is 7 cosine x. So if I make this cosine 2x have something to do with cosine x's, that will um, obviously make it easier for me to solve this equation. So I've got to think of a way to change cosine 2x such that it will become something in terms of cosine x's. Now cosine 2x, it's um, basically um, something that you can split up using the double angle formula. Now the double angle formula are not given to you in the formula book. You should know the double angle formula and the double angle formula are as follows. Cosine 2x equals, you have either um, 2 cosine squared x minus 1 or you have 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Those are the two uh, ways of writing cosine 2x and in case you're not sure how you get them you can actually derive them from the addition formula. And the addition formula are basically you'll see that the one of them is in your formula book and it will be like this cosine a plus b equals cosine a times cosine b minus sine a times sine b. This is one of the um, addition formula which you find in your formula book. So if you if you're uh, if you forget how to find the double angle formula, you can actually do it as follows. You can say, let me call this cosine x plus x, which is the same as cosine two x, which will give me cosine x times cosine x minus sine x times sine x, which gives me cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Okay, this is a uh, one way of writing cosine two x. Now, depending on what you want, if I want everything in terms of cosine, I can change the sine squared into cosine squared by using my identity, which we should know, which is uh, cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals 1, in which case sine squared x is 1 minus cosine squared x, which gives you this identity here, because you have cosine squared x minus, minus cosine squared x, which is cosine squared x plus cosine squared x, which is 2 cosine squared x, and you've got minus 1. Or you could write it in this form by changing the cosine squared x into 1 minus sine squared x, and you'll have 1 minus sine squared x minus another sine squared x, which is 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Now what we're interested in is basically just this part here, this form here. Okay, So that's what we're interested in in this particular question. Okay, So that's just a way to derive it in case you forget. But really, after doing lots of P3 papers, you should be very comfortable with knowing this identity. So if I change the cosine 2x into 2 cosine squared x minus 1, then I'll be able to solve this equation quite easily. So I'm going to change the cosine 2x into 2 cosine squared x minus 1 equals 7 cosine x. Now what I have to do is rearrange this. I see I have a quadratic here. So this is 4 cosine squared x minus 2 equals 7 cosine x. Bringing everything to one side, I have 4 cosine squared x minus 7 cosine x minus 2 equals 0. If you want to, 
like some people do, let x equals, for example, u or a or b. Let me just call it b for now. x equals b. So I have 4, uh, not x equals b, sorry. Let cosine x equals b. Let cosine x equals b. That way I can write it in a bit of a simpler way. 4b squared minus 7b minus 2 equals 0. And I have a quadratic which I can factorize. Okay, now to factorize this, you could use lots of different methods. I'm going to call this 4b squared, and this is minus 2. Do two numbers multiply to give me minus 8b squared and add to give me minus 7b? Well, it must be 8 and 1, so it's negative 8b and plus b. That will give you negative 8b squared and negative b when you add them. That's correct. So now I can take out the common factor here, which is 4b, and the common factor here, which is b. So b times 1 is b and 4b times minus 2 is minus 8b so I have 4b plus 1 and I have um, b minus 2 equals 0 so I end up with b equals negative a quarter and b equals 2 so those are my solutions so I've said let cosine x equals b so I can now say that cosine x equals negative a quarter and cosine x equals 2 now, in this case, cosine x equals 2 has no solution because cosine x never reaches 2. However, cosine x equals negative a quarter will give me a solution. So x equals the inverse cosine of negative a quarter. Now, we've got to solve this for values of x between 0 and I think it didn't say equal to 360. Let's just make sure up here between 0 and 360 okay so we got to solve it for values of x between 0 and 360 degrees so the first angle we're going to get inverse cosine of negative a quarter we take our calculator and we take our calculator and put it into degree mode because we want to find it in degrees obviously and it also tells us to one decimal place which is normally what you do anyway so change first to degrees shift menu angle input i want it to degree mode and then i'll play inverse cosine of negative a quarter inverse cosine of negative a quarter and that gives us 104.477 104.477 104.4775 and um, there's also another angle which shares the same cosine ratio as this which is 360 minus this angle so 360 minus our answer will give us the other angle which is 255 255.522 255.522 continues on so we want to round them to one decimal place so it's 100 104.5 degrees and 255.5 degrees are the two solutions there won't be any other solution in this range all the other solutions are 360 degrees away from these two angles which are going to be outside of our given range so those are the only two solutions this part gave us no solution so therefore that's the answer to question number one from this pay, from this June or stroke October 2020 pure mathematics P3 paper if you want to find other questions from this paper they will be added to a playlist which should appear over here somewhere at the end of this video and on this playlist underneath it you'll find questions to do with trig identities and trig equations from P3 and uh, you can subscribe to my channel from this icon that should appear somewhere here in the middle and on the top here will be a link to another past paper which is related to P3. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you very soon.